AI can make you rich, if you write about it. Just ask Neil Dagger. His hit book, The ChatGPT Millionaire, is one of Amazon's top sellers on artificial intelligence. With nearly 2,000 reviews, The ChatGPT Millionaire, which was almost certainly written by a certified human being, is an excellent example of how to make money off of AI. Because frankly, other industries are still having trouble making money off of AI language models, or at least making money at the scale its developers promised. How can this be? Let's unpack. LLMs are the latest in a series of technologies that were promised to revolutionize the way we live. But the promises made by tech companies are mostly hot air, and have created a massive bubble around absolutely unsustainable expectations, which can have catastrophic knock-on effects for investors and consumers alike, in the form of bank failures and company bankruptcies. It boils down to this. AI is a bubble. It will not have the transformative effect that people think it will, meaning that the surplus investment that has caused stock prices to skyrocket is going to be wiped out. The return on investment simply isn't there. Let's start with the why. As in, why are investors so massively excited about pouring endless amounts of cash into AI? And that is an easy answer. Money. AI is, in many ways, a holy grail. The name is evocative, the benefits of adoption seem limitless, and the cost of implementation are lowish because it's software. When investors think AI, they imagine a world where Google search is rolled into Siri, fed with unlimited information, and sold to the perfect market. Literally everyone. Universally adoptable. Who wouldn't salivate at the prospect of getting in on the ground floor of the technological revolution of our time? Of course, none of the above is actually true, but that's the conventional wisdom on the topic. The truth is, they're right there. The holes in the holy! Investors are so caught up on thinking about profit that they fail to understand the flaws in the technology which limit its implementation, as well as the costs, like how AI might affect people. For one, the verdict is in, and AI simply does not have the disruptive capacity for jobs that people thought. At least, not yet. Some professions have implemented it into their workflow, but we are by no means talking about a productivity revolution. In other words, the flaws in the technology have made it thus far unusable in many cases. No AI doctors or lawyers or even effective research assistants just yet. If you're lucky, and you do clerical work, then yes! LLM-based artificial intelligence is in the process of completely disrupting your field. By which I mean, start updating your CV and prepare for a bloodbath. Silicon Valley's fascination with AI comes with a price tag for regular people. The expansion of AI as a sector is going to come at massive cost for consumers in other markets. Let's assume you're like me, and you enjoy using energy to, I don't know, heat your home in the winter. Expect the price of energy to increase, because you now have to compete with data storage centers, which require tons of power for cooling, so that AI can have access to the large data banks they need. LLMs fundamentally rely on massive amounts of data storage and memory, needing both a huge set of information to draw from, and the ability to cross-reference it at speed. So far, AI is mostly being adopted to supplement existing systems, such as Google Search, which mostly does nothing but degrade the quality and granularity of results for the sake of a pretty obnoxious gimmick. But it's still energy expensive because you have tons of companies competing to make their own in-house LLM, each of which requires thousands of households worth of power to function. Even with breakthroughs in chip memory due to companies like NVIDIA, the energy cost of data storage is still a massive issue. We made a video covering this topic a few months ago, and it has since been brought up in other contexts. What's particularly frustrating is that AI isn't the only game in town. There are so many other examples of growth markets, both in tech and outside of it. Investors have more opportunities than ever to create value, because we're entering a capital-scarce environment. Due to events like the failure of Silicon Valley Bank, investors are more cautious than before. That is, when they're not YOLOing into LLMs. And there are fewer of them than before. Many startups are increasingly desperate for more cash. This means providing value, and therefore revenue, should be a top priority for successful startups again. Which means the payoff for investors is much more sustainable than just the gigantic, adversarial, zero-sum betting market that it has been for the past few years. In short, the AI boom is a bubble, which will increase the cost of your living expenses. And if you were foolish enough to invest in it without cashing out, you're liable to be caught up in a dot-com-esque sector crash. All because investors are more interested in speculating competitively against one another than actually developing any given sector. If this pisses you off, good. You're not alone. And if you want a detailed overview of how LLMs work, and how we can be reasonably certain that the companies that created them are over-promising, but also where and how AI will have the greatest impact, come check out a further detailed analysis over on our Substack, where we have a full breakdown of the issues with the technology. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and let us know in the comments. Are you worried about the impact of AI in your life?